Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stefan from Paint Boss on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for us. Show us your support. So today we're going to do a really quick uh, tutorial on how to plug up all those nail holes uh, in your walls. For all you pros out there, you guys already know what you're doing, but uh, a big thing we have in our repaint side of the world is a lot of homeowners will try to spackle their nail holes and they'll do it uh, incorrectly. So it'll leave big old mounds of spackle. Uh, something like this. This is kind of what we're left with when the homeowner says they're going to spackle, right? We got a lot of spackle here and none actually in the hole. So I'm going to do a quick little video uh, of how a pro does it. I got my spackle right here, my two knives. I got a four inch and a one inch. Uh, they're flexible. I do like flexible knives better. So what we're going to do is we'll run over here to this hole right you can see it's obviously an anchor now what we look for when we're spacking is we don't want anything protruding out of the wall because you can hide any kind of dent or any kind of hole but you can't hide something sticking out past the wall so a good example is something like this one right here you see that so even if we make this flat and flush uh, it's going to be all given away by sticking out of the wall. So super easy to do. Just take your knife, you run it over them, you get all those loose pieces off. So you're trying to make it nice and flat and you'll see some of the paper come. Go ahead and push the sheetrock back in there. What you're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of all of the stuff sticking out of the holes. See how nice and flat that is now? And you can go ahead and just push it back in there. What we're trying to do is make sure that it's nice and flat. We don't want any rings like this because when you spackle that, it'll actually show. So you just want to knock off that little lip right there. You can take your fingernail. You can use whatever you have. We just want to make it flat because we're going to fill that divot. See, this is a good example. You see against this, you see that right there? It's actually sticking out of the wall. You see that? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna knock it off, just like that. We're gonna make sure everything's flat. Here's another one up here. And then go ahead and push it in, or you take the back of your putty knife, give it a couple bangs. Now we're nice and flat. Okay, and this obviously isn't rocket science, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little a uh, tutorial of how to make this all go away. So you can do a couple like that. Now you notice I'm kind of going a little sideways. So the trick to that is I want to I want to overfill it because all spackle will shrink. Okay, no matter what it is, no matter what it says, it'll say shrink free, but it'll all shrink down. So we're going to go ahead and put it on. Sorry, this is I don't normally do this with one hand, but so what we're going to do is just kind of do a little wave like that. Make sure it's nice and covered. And you can just go back over it a couple times. Now that's what I'm looking for. Nice and flat. You can see it from the side, right? And what we're gonna do is now that it's all flat, now we can come back and when it dries tomorrow, we can go ahead and put some more on there. Or sorry, when it dries tomorrow, we'll just come knock it down with a sander and make it all flush. This way, you know, a lot of people will go ahead when they move out of an apartment or they move out of a house, they'll go ahead and fill up all their nail holes. Problem is a lot of people over overdo it and they put a ton of product on there and that's what people see when you come into a house. Whenever you paint it or the finished product, you're gonna see this huge buildup of spackle. That's kind of how you know. They just rushed through it. So you can see, nothing crazy. Just going over it a couple times, making sure it's all flat. And that's kind of what we're looking for right there. Now when we go to paint our walls, so tomorrow when that's all dry, we'll come, we'll knock it down with a little sanding sponge and it'll be nice and smooth and it's gonna mimic these smooth walls on uh, this Sun Valley or hand texture. So once again, you can see a big one like that. We just want to push it in, make sure everything's going inside of the wall. And then we're just going to put our patching compound in there. So when you run out, you know, you can be pretty liberal with this stuff. Just don't be liberal with what you leave on the wall. Like I said before, we want to kind of 
overfill it because tonight it is going to shrink. All right, get that rearranged up there. See, now everything's nice and flat. Tomorrow that's going to shrink up and we're going to pop our paint right over the top of it. You don't want it looking like that. So once again, uh, this is a quick little run through. Less is more. Remember that when you're patching nail holes, less is more. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to get back to work. I hope that helped everybody. This is the foundation of a good paint job is not making sure there's a bunch of bumps and marks and imperfections on your wall. So I hope that helped. Sorry, it's simple, but uh, it should do the trick. Thank you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to that uh, paint boss for me. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.